we doing? We're leaving Vanuatu and we're on our way to Australia! Finally! Right. Let's just say goodbye to Port Villa. So it's been a good first day. We've had a nice sunny sailing day. But now you can see we're coming up on this, what looks like a front. So hopefully it's not the nicked in 25 to 30 knots, but it probably is. So we'll just wait and see how things develop. Alright, so as you can see, that was definitely a front we went into, and now we've got these 30, 35 knot winds, uh, about 10 foot seas, it's pretty nasty out, lots of breaking waves, very uncomfortable night, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Away. That's a flying fish. Flew into the cockpit. I'll have to throw it back. And we've got uh, sunrise 48 hours in. The winds are still up to 30 knots and the seas are still kind of bumpy, but uh, we're almost there. So, this is an interview. How's the passage been so far? It's really sucked. <laughs> yeah. Why? Uh, well, the first night I projectile vomited. So you're fine with this going on YouTube? Uh, okay. So believe it or not, after 48 hours of sailing, we're that close to Lop Lop uh, already. Back. and white caps in the anchorage and we're headed out to sea so why are we doing this because we're idiots <laughs> well no because there's really there's no window it's going to be like this for two weeks it stinks and this is probably the last passage of my life so we got to go let's do it so it's day two of our trip to australia and we have another castaway it's a squid how it got up here, I have no idea. Sunrise, day four, and the winds have basically all but disappeared. We're barely flying our spinnaker. Going three and a half knots. Might have to motor. So it's finally a beautiful day. It's day four. Uh, the sun is out. I'm actually motor sailing because the winds have finally died. I'm keeping myself busy by torturing my fingers, trying to learn to play the guitar. And Elizabeth. Is sleeping. What do we got going on here? Mexican fiesta night. Yeah. Nice pretty night. Yeah. Pink puffy white clouds look non-threatening. Yeah. Gonna get some rest tonight. Yeah. How many days till we get there? Uh, two. Two more. So we just got buzzed by Australian Customs. Bet you'll call us in a minute. Watch. 020, channel 160. Uh, go ahead, this is Honeyman. Um, good morning, sir. Can we see you on channel 72? Thanks, 72. Roger that, 72. Yes, go ahead. Roger that. This is a Tesla aircraft before landing on the Australian mainland or islands. Australian law requires you to complete customs quarantine and immigration formalities and an approved first port of entry, which Monday is. Uh, yes, I understand. Uh, Roger that. Many thanks for your cooperation this morning. Uh, welcome to Australia, and uh, we'll see you again sometime. Thank you very much. We look forward to the Roger that. Cash wash back to 1-6. We're in. Well, you know, you're getting close to Australia when you almost get run over by a tanker. There's the Tien Hao that altered course for us. Uh, much appreciated. What have you got here, honey? Um, so 
So it, it, this is a walrus. <laughs> <laughs>